If you want to get your crew started on the right foot, make sure you execute cruise embarkation day the right way. In this video, we're going to share with you exactly how to do that, and it's all coming up. All right, how seasoned cruisers succeed on cruise embarkation day. That's what this video is about. But if you're with us for the first time, my name is Jason, and here on the Travel Scouts, we give you tips, tours, and money-saving techniques to make sure that your next cruise is the best cruise ever. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. Okay, let's pop right into today's content, how to succeed on cruise embarkation day. And what we're gonna do in this video, we're gonna divide it into two separate parts. The first will be those things that you need to do before you get on the cruise ship, and the second part will be those things that you do after you get on board. Okay, listen very close. If you wanna have a successful cruise embarkation day, some of the greatest keys to that comes in the planning before you get anywhere near to the cruise port. For example, one tip is to book an early check-in time. You don't just show up at the cruise port, get in line, and just work your way onto the ship first come, first serve. These days there is a check-in time that you have set for when you're supposed to arrive at the cruise port. If you have an early check-in time and you're hoofing it to port and you get there a little after your check-in time, that, that's okay. You get in line from where you're at and begin to work your way onto the ship. However, if you have a later check-in time and you arrive early, you may be sitting and waiting. And I don't know about you, but whenever I'm excited to get on a cruise, the last thing I wanna do is sit in a packed lounge or lobby area in an uncomfortable seat, sit there, listen to kids crying, just waiting to get on board and have a hamburger, some lunch. That's torture. I want to get on the ship. Okay, okay, sorry, I just had a bit of a moment there, but look, here's the deal. Your cruise line will have a date prior to your cruise where they open up the opportunity for people to book their check-in times. It is key to find out when that date is or take note when they send you that email or that notification, and when that date comes, get on there and get on there early and get that early check-in time. You will thank me for taking this tip. Okay, you may not thank me, but you'll realize that it was a good idea. You won't regret it. Another tip for a successful embarkation day is to pre-book everything that you can, that you know you're going to use. This could include Wi-Fi, specialty dining, excursions, anything like that that you know that you want, go ahead and book it. Here's two reasons why. One, you're gonna get it cheaper if you book it before the cruise and after you get on board. And the second thing is, there's limited availability on some of these things especially with excursions. If you're booking excursions with the cruise line, they only have so many slots for those and you gotta get it while the getting's good. I do not know why I am talking so country today. We do live in Georgia, but I'm not that country. Another tip for a successful cruise embarkation day is to double check your important documents. This one is so absolutely key. You can forget all kinds of other things behind and still cruise. But if you forget your important documents, you may not be able to cruise. So Kelly and I, we have a checklist that we always go through when we're about to go on a cruise. I've actually done a video that I will link up above and down in the video description. It's a short video, but it's a good final check before you go on your cruise to make sure you're not leaving behind anything important and that you have everything up to date like you need. Now with these important documents, we like to take both digital and printed copies. And there's three basic areas or categories of these important documents. One is your citizenship documents, the other is your COVID documents, and the next is your travel documents. And in the video that we posted above and down in the video description, we go into detail about what you'll need for each of those. Moving right on, the next tip for a successful cruise embarkation day is to download the Cruise Lines app while you're still at home and you have good Wi-Fi. Now when you download it there, you're not gonna be able to have all kinds of features and see what's going on in the ship quite yet. You'll be able to see all of that once you're on board the ship. But having that on your phone already, that's just gonna save you some time. It's gonna be a lot easier. Now if you haven't sailed in a while, the Cruise Lines apps are absolutely key to cruising today. You'll use that for all sorts of things. You'll use that to see the events going on on the ship. You'll use that to scan the QR code to see the menus at various places you're eating on board the ship. And you'll also use that if you wanna book some extra while you're on board. Okay, so as we're moving towards this successful embarkation day, we're getting closer to getting on the ship now. So the next tip is pack that carry-on bag wisely. 
As you're doing all that final packing, you're going to be putting some stuff in that main luggage and other stuff to set aside into that carry-on. So you need to think through what you're going to put in that carry-on bag. Now we've done a video on that as well. We'll link that up above and also down in the video description. But the key thing here is that once you drop off that luggage, you may not see your main luggage for a few hours depending on what time you're getting on board the ship. So you're going to want to make sure that you have key items with you in that carry-on. So for me, that carry-on bag is usually going to include my camera, my phone, batteries and chargers, whatever's needed for both of those. I'm going to make sure I'm going to have a folder with all of those important documents that are organized, ready to sort of flow through that line of processing onto the ship where I don't lose anything and I have it all in order. I'm also going to have my wallet with me because I don't want to lose that because I'm going to need that when I get to port. I'm going to keep my keys with me and I'm also going to have my hygiene bag with me along with any medications and that's just so I can freshen up once I get on board the ship. And now we're getting super close. The next tip is make sure that you plan your travel to the port to arrive at least a day prior to your cruise. Maybe even plan two days if you have the time off and you're able to do so. This one is key. We have been on cruises before where we've tried to go same day and we have had traffic en route to the port. We've had times where we've flown the day before but we've still had flight delays and flight changes and it can get very hairy and scary when you have travel delays and stuff en route to the cruise port. One of the the absolute saddest things that Kelly and I experience every single cruise is once we check into our stateroom and then we're walking down the hall well into the evening and Carnival Cruise Line for example they will usually place the sell and sign cards your room cards out on the doorway right and you get those when you go in and we'll see certain sets of those that are just left there it's obvious the person did not make it on board the cruise ship so sad we have not missed a cruise yet have you would love for you to chime in below um, just so we can grieve with you because that's just awful so sad okay congratulations you have now made it to the cruise port but you're not on the ship yet, one more tip for you before you get on that cruise ship, and that is if you have driven to the cruise port, go ahead and drop off that luggage before you go park. This one is just super key and it will save you so much pain. Look, either way, once you get there to the actual cruise terminal, you're gonna be dropping off that luggage. Usually there's gonna be porters or luggage handlers there. So look, why go to your cruise parking location and haul that out of your car and load it onto some shuttle and then haul it back off all this. Look, just swing through in your own personal vehicle, drop that off, then go park and then take the shuttle and it's just you and that carry-on bag and you are good to go. So now let's move into the second part of the video and that's those key tips for a successful cruise embarkation day once you get on to the cruise ship. And the first tip we would have for you is this. When you step on board the cruise ship, go ahead and go to your muster station and check in. The muster drill has changed a whole lot since COVID-19. You no longer have a time where you gather together with everybody in a crunched up room and listen to people go through how to put on your life jacket and all of that. But you do have to go to your muster station, you check in there, and they make sure that everybody knows where their muster station is in case they needed to go there in the state of an emergency. But as far as for the briefing, now most cruise lines do that by video. Video that you can watch from your stateroom. Others will use an intercom kind of briefing that they do at some point there after everyone is on board the ship. But the muster stations are usually pretty close there to the deck where you get on and off the ship from. It's good to go ahead and knock that out because you don't want to be sitting around having a good time with friends and family and all of this and then hear that final announcement that, hey, if you haven't been to your muster station yet, you need to do so now. And you got to sort of step away from that thing that you're doing that you're so enjoying to go do that muster muster station. Look, get it out of the way. It will only take a few minutes and it's done. The next tip is this. Go ahead and put your valuables away in the cabin. As soon as you get access to your cabin, that stuff that you have in your carry-on bag, drop that off. The crew staterooms, they have a safe in there so you can go ahead and put that wallet, those important documents up. You don't want to keep that with you as you're going around on the ship and exploring it. And then you sit that down somewhere and then on that first day of your cruise, you lose some valuables or things that are really important to you. Like a toothbrush or something else that you don't want to lose. Dental hygiene is very important. 
The next tip for a successful embarkation day is to go ahead and check the events once you get on board the ship. As you're hanging out and enjoying your first day on the ship, you can figure out those things that you want to go do. And at this point, it is time to have some fun. You can go get something to eat, you can explore the ship, you can get things unpacked a little bit, and you can enjoy that sail away party. I, for Kelly and I, the sail away party is really key. You get sort of a vibe for what that cruise is gonna be like because the personality of every group of cruisers is different. Some, you can just tell these people are just ready to have a good time and just get out there and enjoy life. And then other cruise passengers, you know, you can have sort of a vibe across the ship that's a little bit more chill. Both are good, they're just different. You also get a sense for the cruise director. Are they feeling this and having a good time and ready to lead a good cruise? Or are they just ready to jump overboard? We have had both kind of cruise directors. And during that sailway party, that's when you get the telltale signs and you know what you got. All right, if you've got any value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And question for you, what would you add to this list of tips for embarkation day? Chime in down below and help your fellow cruisers. We'd love to hear from you. All right, that's it for now, but the next video will be coming out soon, so be sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. God bless you, and we'll catch you in the next video.